Hey everybody. Hello. So tonight we're here in Gatlinburg and we're going to have a dinner at Bennett's Barbecue. Mm -hmm. So many of you have recommended this place. So us. many. And we, we tried the Big Daddy's Pizzeria in Pigeon Forge and we love that. So we're here to try Bennett's Barbecue here in Gatlinburg. Yeah. So it's two separate restaurants, right? Yeah. yeah. It's um, when you walk, it's the same entrance when you walk in. The pizzeria is on the right hand side and then Bennett's Barbecue is on the left. So we're going to Bennett's Barbecue. And the parking was not easy. They do have a small parking lot behind the building. Uh -huh. Very limited space. And then there is the street parking here. Yeah. So you kind of either have to pay for parking that's um, down a bit or hopefully you'll get lucky and find a spot. But mm -hmm. that's our experience tonight. Yeah. But we're hungry and we're ready to eat. All right, let's go. Let's do it. We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. RVTV, K and E RVTV, sing it with us. RVTV. Okay, so Bennett's Barbecue is located right behind Obergatlinburg, which is right off of the Parkway. This is um, Leconte, Leconte Street, right here. Goes up to the Parkway, so it's not too far from everything. Yeah. All right, let's right go directly behind. Over yeah. All right, let's go check it out. So as of now, they're closed on Wednesdays. So they're open 11 to 9, Sunday to Thursday, and Friday and Saturday, 11 to 10. Both um, Bennett's and Baguette's. Open the same hours. Okay, so Bennett's to the... Big Daddy's Pizza's to the right. Bennett's Barbecue's over here to the left. It smells absolutely fantastic in here. I'm excited. Everyone's everyone's food's looking pretty good too. Thank you. So we sat down at our table. I'm so excited. I'm hungry. It smells phenomenal in so here. So good. Voted best barbecue and best ribs. We're putting that to the test. If the smell is any indication, <laughs> I, will, I will probably agree to that. <laughs> right? Celebrating 30 years of serving the best barbecue in the Smokies. We are gonna put that to the test. Okay, for appetizer, uh, they have some wings, pickle chips, potato skins, or here's their house specialty, deep fried deviled eggs, or Southwestern hot pepper cheese squares. That's what we're getting. Spicy pepper jack cheese squares, hand breaded and deep fried served on a bed of spicy southwestern chili. I'm so excited. Fried cheese, yeah. chili, spicy and a barbecue pit. Woo. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sounds really, really good. They also have buffalo cauliflower, which I'm interested in. Barbecue nachos, yeah. soups and salads. Um, they do have a good uh, amount of different sandwiches that you can get. Which also come in two sides. Yeah, two sides. Brisket, sorry, the glare. Sausage, catfish, brisket Philly, that looks good too. House specialty. They do have burgers, brisket burger, that sounds yummy. All right, here's all the yummy goodness from the Hickory Smoker. Pork shoulder, beef brisket, barbecue chicken, pulled chicken, burnt ends. Burnt ends, Ooh. Kim loves some burnt ends. Sounds good. All the barbecue sauces you can take home. And here is the award winning ribs. You can get a half or a full rack. Or they do have these combos, which we are going to indulge in the barbecue combo. Which you get to pick three. We're getting ribs, brisket, and white meat chicken. Comes with two sides, and we're getting mac and cheese and potato salad. So, I'm super excited. And they have desserts. Desserts. Ooh, cobblers. Famous mm. baked cobbler. Mm. Ooh, baked cobbler. Chocolate, Chocolate cake. cake. Some sides and adult beverages. Yes, they do have a bar. Yep. And they have a fun little cocktail menu too. They're using old smoky moonshine to make some fun. fun cocktails. And they do have beer. 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 That was wine and beer together. <laughs> wine and beer by the glass uh -huh. as well. So, yes. We are not partaking in adult beverages this evening. Nope. But we are ready to eat. We are. It's a cute little restaurant in here. It's like super Tennessee barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Really cute. And they have plenty of napkins on the table. And, and barbecue. Barbecue. Yeah. Honey. Honey. Q4U. Mustard. 
last stand. And the puckering pig. Yes. Which I'm guessing that means it's spicy. I think that maybe ketchup. It's spicy. Spicy. And I love, we got, we got baby's house abundant. Yeah, and extra napkins. Extra napkins. Utensils. Utensils. Little comment card. We are good to go. Oh, so this is the affiliated with the Mama's uh, Farmhouse Kitchen that we went to the other day. Uh, obviously Big Daddy's Pizza, the Alamo, Joe and Pop Sub Shop. Which, That's which where we went to. Out of the places we have eaten, we have enjoyed them all so far. Yeah, so. So Bennett's will be marking off the list tonight and we will let you know what we think. But we really enjoyed Mama's Kitchen and the um, Joe's Pop, Joe's and Pop Sub Shop. Yeah. Delicious. That fried chicken from Mama's was out of this world. And I had the buffalo chicken sandwich from the Joe and Pop shop, which is connected, and it was probably my favorite chicken Check sandwich. Check that video buffalo out. Chicken sandwich <laughs> ever had. Guess what arrived? I'm pretty excited about this. Our Little appetizer. fried cheese balls sitting in chili. Pepper Jack spicy fried cheese squares. Oh, look, look at this that. chili. There's, there's, there's like stuff in here. There's meat. Is that jalapeno? I don't know. <gasps> they said it's spicy. I'm excited. Yeah, definitely. We'll get some of the sour cream. Oh, wow. I'm doing it. I'm doing this it. This is like a fun little appetizer. I'm excited for it. It looked oh. different, so we wanted to try it. Fried and cheese. And you know how we I'm love in. fried cheese. I'm in. Aaron, Aaron saw it. Was like right away. <laughs> I want it. I want it. This chili looks really good too. It's delicious. How's the fried cheese? Oh, yum, yum, yum. It's good. Is it spicy? Not to me. I think you can handle it. All right, Kim's giving hers a try now. I'm gonna see what you think. See, what's, I don't think it's too spicy for you. I think it's got like a like a hint, a hint of spice. <laughs> it's really good. Like I don't even know. Like there's bits that of. Oh, okay, that looks like a little bit of brisket there, or some kind of beef. This melty cheese. Yes. Look at this. I don't know. If you can it's that. so good. It goes, I don't think you can see the melty cheese, but it's but fantastic. It's chili. It's super savory. A lot of flavor. And the cheese still has a nice crispy little crunch from the breading on the outside. Really good. All right, we're going to dig in. <laughs> if you like cheese in any way, it's Try not it. too spicy either. I feel a little bit of a kick. But you can handle it, it right? Can handle exactly. It. It's good flavor. Good flavor. All right, we're going to dig in. This fried cheese is like out of this world. And the chili is so good. I wonder if that's like the chili because I know they serve a bowl of chili. Uh -huh, same it's chili. So, I would order that on its own. It's so delicious. But you wouldn't, I feel like this doesn't like go together, but it like it tastes does. amazing it together. Like phenomenal. And I actually did put, I added a little bit of the honey barbecue honey, sauce. Honey Q for you, which I think is really cute. Mm -hmm. It's really flavorful. But this fried cheese out of this world. So, I'm so excited about this. Dinner has arrived. It smells so good. So we're splitting this. This was the barbecue combo. We got to choose three meats. We got the ribs. White meat chicken and the brisket. And it comes with two of these rolls. Awesome. Perfect. Yep, one in one. This is the potato salad. It looks pretty good. And the spicy mac and cheese. Looks like there's some peppers mixed in there. I'll test let's, it for you now. Let's, oh, you want to test it now? Okay. I'll let you know if it's too spicy for Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's steaming. It's got a little, a little tiny bit of heat. I think you'll be okay. Again, it's not too much, just like the chili wasn't too crazy. I think you can handle that. Guys, right, so now that you've dug in a little bit, what are your thoughts? I haven't ate the ribs yet, but the chicken is really good. Great smoky flavor, super tender and juicy. Love it. The brisket's really good too. Sliced very thin, not a lot of fat on it. Yeah, I tasted it. I, I really liked it. It's good, but... Not compared to the boss hog the barbecue in uh, pigeon forage, that was way better brisket yeah. than this brisket. You, yeah, in my opinion. I agree. In my opinion. And I'm not even a brisket person, I agree. This little garlic bowl, it's kind of like a red lobster imitation, but more like garlicky than like cheddar, but it's really good. I'm gonna try the rib for you. Okay, do it. They look nice and pink. Sweet. Smoky. Again, we are sharing everything, so I have my little, my little plate set up over here. It's plenty to share. Look right out of here. <laughs> good. It's, yeah, it's really good. I wouldn't say you're not blown away. Gotcha. So again, but now do you prefer Boss Hogs ribs? 
Because I know I really enjoy their ribs too. These are very good fall off the bone too. Yeah. But now is yeah. it the barbecue sauce? Because I know when you tasted the barbecue, you weren't like, it's not my favorite. Because so I like the sweet. Yeah. I like the sweet barbecue sauce and even the honey one, I don't feel like it's as sweet. sweet. So gotcha. Like a flavor. Gotcha. But good. It's hard to film with messy barbecue fingers. <laughs> this potato salad, I enjoy it. It definitely, it kind of reminds me of like, we say that potato salad I had growing up. Like, yeah, it kind of like, like having like a picnic barbecue mm -hmm. potato salad. The mac and cheese no, is not really my favorite. It's kind of yeah. like Stouffer's mac and cheese with some like peppers in it. Yeah, it's not blowing me away at all. No. I was excited about it because it was spicy, <laughs> but the ribs are really good. The chicken is my favorite too. Can I know, I think chicken? the chicken is the best. The chicken is awesome. I really like the brisket too. This is really good food. Like I'm yes. very happy with it, but I think if it came down to it and I had to choose between here. Awesome. Oscars. Oscars. Yeah. I really would. Stick a fork in us. We finished everything. It was really good. It was really good. It was good. I am very happy, very satisfied. That fried cheese. So good. That chili. Amazing. I would literally come and get that for a meal. Just the appetizer. It was, so good. <laughs> it was pretty filling too. Yeah, I'm glad we shared. Seriously. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to walk out of here. Not a chance. Yeah. But um, the brisket was like sliced really thin. I feel like the brisket sandwich here would be a really good that choice. Was probably amazing. But did they have a brisket Philly? Yeah, the brisket Philly would probably be amazing. Yeah. Really nicely, thinly sliced, really tender. There uh -huh. was a lot of flavor. And I love that there wasn't a lot of fat. Uh huh. It's a fatty brisket. A lot of people chicken. are though. That chicken was the chicken was the star of the show. Perfect. I think so. That chicken was really, really nice. Probably the best barbecue chicken I've tried. And a no really go good. no go on the mac and cheese. Yeah, we didn't love the mac and cheese. The potato salad was really good. Again, it reminds me of you know, back in the good old days. <laughs> The ribs were really, really tasty, which, really tender. Which barbecue sauce was your favorite? I actually really liked the puckering pig. It's Spicy? Definitely, um, it went out of kick, but definitely vinegar based. Um, the mustard wasn't my favorite, and I do like a mustard barbecue sauce, but that wasn't my favorite. But I do like the honey. It had a nice, for me, it had a nice little sweet. And they the did. Mild, um house sauce that came in the little, um, we would call it a syrup jar, yeah. like I have. But that was good too. It's their mild house sauce. But, uh -huh. um, that one was my favorite, I think. Yeah, because it wasn't super vinegary. Yeah. I think most of them are vinegar based, and yeah. that's not Kim's jam. But I thought it was, everything was really good. Here's a look at our bill. We just got one soda, the appetizer, and we split that combo. We paid the extra dollar for the white meat chicken. So our total is $45.57. It was a lot of food. Did you bring your money? I guess we're doing dishes. <laughs> so right when you walk in, they do have some merchandise. Smoke them if you got them. Some fun t-shirts. The best butts in Tennessee. They do have some barbecue sauce. And some fun little drinkware. Some little shot glasses. Some seasoning. And again, it's really, really cute in here with the farm decor. And here's a bar right over here. It's like a fully stocked bar. They do have a couple TVs. And a lot of fun fall decorations right now. Apparently they Super have the cute. best books in Tennessee. Yeah, I was saying that. That's a cute butt. <laughs> they do have a lot of live plants hanging around and little plant hangers. It's really cute. And the restaurant is much bigger than we thought. Goes all the way back there. We were sitting back there towards the left. Yeah. We really enjoyed it. Found some high hogs up here. <laughs> They're ready for fall. Yeah, they are. So funny. Here's a look at the large gondolas for Ober Gatlinburg. You get some really, really beautiful views taking this up. And we have not done a video, a video on Ober Gatlinburg. Mainly because you have to pay for the train to take you up there and then you have to pay for everything up there separately. It's just a very costly experience, at least for us. But it's definitely a cool experience to do if you come here. Maybe we'll, one day we'll do a video on it. <laughs> oh, we I'm shared so our meal. Cool. Thank God. Cool. And we really consider getting dessert and I'm so happy mm -hmm. we did it because I am ready for bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was really good. I was so impressed with that, that cheese appetizer. Mm -hmm. It was really fun, really different, and really comforting. 
It was just so good. <laughs> yeah, this, so is, this good. is a nice restaurant to have here in Gatlinburg. You can either yeah. get the barbecue or the, the pizzeria. Mm -hmm. Both are really good options and just a little walk down from the parkway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, so. it's just directly right behind Ober Gatlinburg. And I mean, we're comparing it to Boss Hogs and Pigeon Forge because that's the last barbecue that we had. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. And I mm -hmm. think we did prefer the sides there too as well. But I mean, this barbecue is still really, really good. Yeah. We don't want you to think it was, it was delicious, but just, I think we like Boss Hogs just a little, little more. It was a little more our speed, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. But we really enjoyed our dinner and thank you so much for your recommendations. We really, we really appreciate you guys telling us what's good because We've been here for a while, but we still don't know everything. So very, very true. We appreciate you and all of your comments. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit your like button, hit your notification bell, so you'll get notif notified of all of our future videos coming out. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. We would really appreciate it. And let us know if there's any other recommendations that you guys have for restaurants for us to try here in Smoky. Yeah, we will be back in November, so make sure they're open during winter. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you again, guys. We will see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all. Bye.